Hey guys, it's ready. So for this paper butterflies, I'm going to be using this butterfly shape cookie cutters from this set of three. And I'm going to be using the middle size. This is just going to be for reference as to what size my butterflies are going to be. And I'm going to be tracing the shape of this on a piece of cardboard, but just half of the like shape. Changing the whole shape of my butterfly. I'm going to be working on like the butterfly itself, like the body. And then the wings, I'm just going to be making them rounder like this. And you know, thinking about it, you don't even need a butterfly cookie cutter. Draw kind of like this shape. I have a picture on my blog folding my cardboard in half. And the reason I'm doing this in half, when I cut it and I open it, the whole thing looks even. So yeah, this is my template. I'm going to be using foamy paper and I'm going to be tracing the shape of my now cardboard butterfly. And this is why I chose cardboard as opposed to like paper because in like details, like paper loses its steadiness, I guess. And cardboard is like harder and it's easy to work with. Once I have my butterflies, I'm going to be cutting them. This same way that I did with paper. Then I'm going to be taking ear wires because I didn't have wire and I'm opening them to turn them into like wire. If you have wire, feel free to use instead. Opening them with my pliers, folding this in half with my fingers is actually really easy to do. This kind of wires is not hard at all. So these are going to be like my antennas working on the shape, just folding this with my pliers and then using my brown nose pliers to add some details on the top. Gluing them using my super glue, adding a tiny bit of glue i'm working on like the back of them by the way painting them covering like the bottom part of this with my mustard acrylic paint i do have the diy showing you how uh, you can easily make this and then for the top some orange and some red mixing this turning this into a darker orange covering the top part of the body of my butterfly now at this point feel free to cover like the edges as well i forgot to do that i'm gonna be uh, making a gradient effect i should have applied my orange with my sponge this round sponge that i'm doing right now i forgot to do that it doesn't matter i'm going to show you how you can do that you just need the sponge the two colors and just step by step as you go looking back and thinking about it i should have applied first my orange on top and then just go with my sponge at the bottom with my mustard acrylic paint but i didn't think about that when i was like painting the whole thing i'm going to be working on the details of like the body and stuff first with my details a sharpie adding like the body in the middle and then go with my like thicker side of the sharpie and just covering the middle part then i'm going to be applying with my like fine sharpie all the beautiful details that monarch butterflies have just by adding a bunch of like oval shapes a little bit place like this it doesn't have to be perfect just make sure you add like the same shape you added on one side to the next one if you made a crooked oval shape on one side just try to make the same shape on the other side just so that they look even then going with my thicker sharpie and just adding edges and then just working on the darker details of those edges and again i went back and covered the edges and then i'm adding those beautiful spots that those butterflies have i'm working with my pearl white and a bunch of dotting tools that i do have the diy for those ones i made them myself and yeah this is a matter of like adding a bunch of details spots and dots all over the place first go going with my bigger dotting tool that is going to give you like bigger dots following up with my like smaller dotting tool that is going to give smaller dots added those details all over the place and then again the same spots that you added on like one side or just one wing add to the other one so they look even i'm going to be painting the antennas with my black nail polish or feel free to work with black wire to begin with it's pretty much up to you if you have that but yeah guys i love them i love the final result and hopefully you do too these kinds of butterflies in real life are stunning and hopefully this ones look something like that they are so much fun to make they look super cute they are really easy to make these are for something that i'm going to be sharing next so stay tuned for that if you like them as much as i did give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below don't forget to check out more diys that i have on my channel thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye